Hi, my name is Jen. Today we're taking a look at leg work with a TheraBand. You can use either a blue color or a green color for this work. And we'll put one foot in the band and then we'll do movements that are similar to feet and straps, footwork, and leg circles. This is really challenging for people with scoliosis and spinal fusions because we're trying to keep the torso nice and calm like a lake in the mountains on a early morning. No ripples, no waves. In order to do this, we need to expand all of our concavities and maintain stability through the torso. We'll start this series by doing a few glute bridges. So find yourself lying on your back. Inhale to lengthen the spine. And exhale. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and float the pelvis up. Take an exhale. And then float the pelvis down. So we'll inhale the pelvis up. Take an exhale. Another inhale. And then lower the pelvis down. So we're just taking a few breaths while the pelvis is up. See if you can feel your big toe ball mounds. As you float the pelvis up, keep those big toe ball mounds connected. While your pelvis is up, keep lengthening the spine. And then we'll take the TheraBand and go ahead and place the TheraBand nice and flat around your foot. And then you'll hold on to it and draw your upper arm bones towards the floor. Lengthen out your bottom leg. Take a moment to check that your pelvis is level. And then you're going to lengthen the leg long and slowly float it back up. See if you can keep your torso nice and calm with these leg movements. And then take the leg partially down. And from here, you're going to fold the knee and lengthen the leg. Again, nothing changes through the torso. Do about eight of those, float the leg up, and this is the hardest one. 
So really feel that your shoulder blades are level, that your pelvis is level. You're going to cross the leg over the midline, circle it down, out, and up. Maybe you inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. You can move slow if it's really hard to stabilize. You can make the circle smaller. Or you can make the circle bigger. The most important thing is that we're just trying to move the leg and not the pelvis or the spine. From here, you'll circle out, down, in, and up. and you can do anywhere from six to eight circles. Thanks for joining me today. Once again, my name is Jen Gorman. I am a patient, advocate, and practitioner focusing on scoliosis, spinal fusions, and back care. To get more information, go to scoliosisandbackcare.com.